Well, hello and thank you for joining me again. This is video number five of seven in the bonus video series for the holiday season. That's right, $100,000 hair cutter, that's the book. One idea a day, every single day for 365 days to help you build and grow your business. And a lot of folks don't remember the keep going chapter right after the year finishes, 52 weeks, and then boom, keep going. It's a whole other week. It's a 53rd week of the year. And because it's not tied to particular calendar dates, I don't talk about them that often. So I thought this year for the holidays, my little bonus gift to you would be seven rock solid videos on the seven ideas in the keep going chapter. So it is Friday, day five. Now you may not be watching this on Friday and it may not be your fifth video, depending on the order in which you're playing, but you get the idea. It's Friday, it's day five. And the tip of the day, talk about hair. Let me read it to you and we'll talk. Focus your client conversations on hair. There are many landmines to avoid in client conversations. Traditionally, haircutters are taught to avoid politics, religion, and sex. Politics? Tell me about it. There are many other ways to get into a social jam besides this classic three. It is always safe to play the hair card. Discuss hairstyle and trend. Share information about hair care products. Ask questions about hair issues and challenges. Worst case scenario, the client comes to think of you as hair obsessed. That's not a bad thing. Turn the conversations to hair. If the conversation is heading in a direction that you're not comfortable with or that you think is maybe a bad idea, talk about hair. If the client brings up a subject that you don't really want to get into, you can do the smile and nod, you know, for many years with the blow dryer on, that's what we did. Blowing hair, can't hear them anyways, just smile and nod, but careful, you don't know what you're agreeing to. Turn the conversation back to hair. Bring it back to hair. Talk about their next appointment. Talk about styling tips and tricks. We enumerated them when we read it straight from the book. You know, as a manager, when I worked for a chain salon, we were taught that as a manager, one of the most valuable things we could be doing was sweeping. Because sweeping had us on the floor, out between the chairs, interacting with our team members and interacting with the shop customers. And it gave us the opportunity to listen, to be ears open, antennas up, to be able to intervene or to steer or to compliment, comment and compliment an employee when they were having the right kind of conversations to have behind the chair. It's such an important part of the way we interact with people and the way we hope to build and grow business. Hey, special shout out today, my friends, Bellzone Barbershop over in New Jersey. Big hey to Dennis and the crew. These guys are a little over a week away from celebrating for the year their 100th anniversary serving customers taking great care of people and delivering awesome service. And you can be sure you're going to get a great client conversation at their barbershop. Dennis, thanks for the t-shirt. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Thanks for watching this video series. Have a very happy holiday season. Hit the playlist because there's seven of these videos on the list. One a day for seven days for a week. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. You don't want to miss one. There's another one coming tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Have a great day.